Hi everyone, today we're going to be uh, building an app together. It's the stopwatch app from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's try to do this as quick as possible. It's a relatively simple app. So I'm going to start off by adding a few buttons here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag a button here. I'm going to go command C and uh, copy and paste this a few times. Okay, so I'm going to maybe put the buttons down here. And I have three buttons and you'll see why I need three buttons for this and by the way this is a great app if you're uh, if you're wondering how to use like the timer essentially this app is all about the timer so I'm gonna go ahead and change the um, titles of these buttons to start right and this will be pause and these are usually the buttons that you would find in a um, regular stopwatch right start pause and reset uh, what we're also going to add here is a label that will actually display our time. So let's go ahead and make this label a bit bigger. So I'm going to make it nice and big. And um, I'm going to start off with a zero here. And obviously I don't want the zero to kind of be in the, um, in the left side. We're going to go ahead and maybe make it center and maybe make the zero a bit bigger. All right, so font 50 should do fine. So that's a, pretty much our layout. We're gonna go ahead and um, delete everything here. Let's clean up our environment, clean this up. And we're gonna make some outlets here and then we could start coding. So we're gonna make an outlet here for um, the label. So we're gonna say label outlet. And we're gonna create three um, three outlets here, start, button, outlet, and the pause, button, outlet, and the reset, button, outlet. And we're also going to make three actions. So we're going to create an action here. We're going to call this uh, start button pressed and it's going to be of type UI button and we're going to create another action here and we're going to call this pause button pressed and this is of type UI button and a reset and make this UI button as well reset button pressed and that's pretty much for our initial setup. Now let's go ahead and do this so we have a bit more room and uh, we're gonna start coding here. All right, so here's what we need to know in terms of our code. So this is our view did load, which by the way, we won't even need. So as you can tell here, we've got a few outlets and we've got really only three actions that we're gonna play around with. All right, so what do we do here? The first thing I'm going to do is create two variables, okay? So the first is, and I'll explain what these are. Um, I'm going to create a timer. I'm going to call it my timer, and it's going to be of type timer, okay? So I've created a timer called my timer, and I'm going to create var my time of type int, and I'm going to initialize it at zero. So this is going to hold our time and this is a timer function that um, it's a timer class rather that is pre-built in the Swift uh, standard library that we're going to be using. And I've initialized uh, a variable here called my timer that uses this class. All right. So in the start button, which is where the magic happens, to be honest, is um, we're going to call up this one big function. But um, don't don't uh, don't uh, I don't want to lose you here. So you call up my timer and you go equal and it's it's timer dot schedule time with interval repeats ball block and we have to give it a closure here. OK, so before I fill this up, I want to let you know that we have to create a function here. OK, and this will all come to be very, very clear in a second. So I'm going to call this code to be run just to kind of illustrate to you what's happening here and and inside this function we're going to call up my time right which is an integer and we're going to increment it by one and we're also going to say label outlet dot text equals string my time so what we're going to do is essentially we're going to increment the time 
uh, by by one every second and I'll show you how to do that here and then we're gonna take the time and update it um, into the label okay now what do we do here so my timer timer schedule with interval well how often do we want the function to execute we're gonna make it every second do we want it to repeat yes so we type in true and in here we have to provide a closure um, so if you don't know what closures are it's these two curly braces we're gonna include if you don't really understand closures that's fine just kind of repeat what I'm doing here and I think I have a video on my channel all about closures so go ahead and watch that so we're gonna type in uh, self dot code to be run so uh, real simple here I'm calling up this timer the schedule uh, schedule timer function and I'm saying repeat every one second and yes repeat and what are we repeating we're repeating this function so every second this function is going to be called up we're going to call up this function we're going to call up this function we're going to call up this function once every second I've got a little error here and just press fix okay cool so let's go ahead and run this app and when we run it you'll see that um, as soon as we press this button um, you'll see the time starts um, 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 increasing so the app is running here give it a few seconds okay so let's see what this looks like um, I could press start and of course as soon as I press start it starts counting of course pause and reset don't work so let's go ahead and stop the app and let's make pause and reset work well pause and reset is actually pretty easy to uh, make work so for pause all we have to do is pause the timer so how do we pause the timer so we call up my timer and there is a function in my timer called invalidate so if you call that up that pauses it and it's that simple cool now in terms of resetting all we have to do is the following so we reset the time which is called my time and we're gonna set it to zero again and we're gonna set the label outlet to text right um, equals string and we're gonna say the time right which is now zero so if we go ahead and start this app again you'll see that everything should be working pretty fine um, so we start the app it starts counting right perfect if we pause it pauses if we start again it starts again if we pause it pauses again and if we reset and start again it works perfectly fine there is however one flaw so watch it's starting and it's incrementing by one second if I press start again it's gonna start going faster it's gonna start incrementing by two seconds and if I press again it's gonna start incrementing by three seconds and if I press again it's gonna start incrementing by four seconds and five seconds so if I press it a few times you'll see that it goes really 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 quickly okay and the pause doesn't really work and the reset resets it but it's still going really really quickly why is that so let's have a look let's go ahead and stop this app and the reason being is because the start button here every time I press the start button this thing is called up again and it's running code to be run and so the first time I run it it works perfectly fine it's incrementing by one but when I call it up again it's running again now it's incrementing by one twice so it's incrementing by two and three and four and five and so on and so forth so I'm gonna show you how to fix that okay okay so the easiest way to fix this is well if you recall the problem essentially every time we press uh, start again it incre it calls up this thing again and it you know calls it up again and again and again so we don't want that so the easiest way is we say as soon as we press the start button we say listen disable right or set the dot is enabled uh, fee, um, um, attribute of the button to false so essentially after every after every time we press it we're disabling this button but by doing that we have to enable the button again and again so dot is enabled equals true so we're enabling the start button again so we could start it again after we pause or we reset start button dot outlet is enabled equals true and by the way I forgot to invalidate the timer here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and call up my timer again dot invalidate and uh, this will just be safer that way otherwise the reset button doesn't work 100 percent 
Uh, but if I start this, this should be perfect. So let's have a look at this. And if I start, it disables the button so I can't press it again. I could pause and as soon as I pause, it opens this up and I could start it up and it continues. And if I pause and it doesn't matter how many times I press pause, it just works. I press start again, it starts off again. And if I hit reset, it resets it to zero and I could start again. And it just works perfectly, right? Beautiful. Okay. That's pretty much the app. Uh, that's a stopwatch, really simple. So very simple app, not much code to it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this audio. Have a great day.